2002 saw the birth of a new platforming team in Ratchet and Clank. The first is an alien that looks like a cross between a cat and a rabbit, while the latter is his slightly erratic robot chum. Time is a living, breathing thing. Powerful, beautiful, and oftentimes cruel. In their latest escapade, A Crack in Time, Clank has gained an all new set of time manipulation powers, and we were lucky enough to get our hands on a preview level from the game to see just how it all works. The Great Clock Tower acts as a tutorial for the little robot skills. It's a giant space station complete with aging electronics, broken platforms and a crazed robot caretaker called Sigmund, who acts as your guide around the station. Initially, Sigmund gives a simple refresher in Clank's basic skills, running, jumping and using his helicopter head to reach high up or far away platforms. However, it's Clank's new time manipulation skills that really make the game interesting and it stirs up a whole new level of puzzle solving. The key to these new puzzles are time pads. These pads can be used to create past versions of Clank and record actions while the present time Clank can carry out other tasks. The first puzzle to use these pads is pretty simple. The exit to the room is locked and while there is a button in the room to open the door, it requires someone to stand on it to remain activated. We stood on the first time pad, hit record and recorded ourselves running over to the button and then presto, our current time self could exit the room. While these puzzles are initially simple, the introduction of the Chronoceptor later on in the level presents a whole new challenge. The Chronoceptor allows Clank to repair broken objects around the station and throw quantum energy bombs. These bombs can slow a fast moving object for a short period of time, much like the stasis did in Dead Space. The first few puzzles for this are pretty simple and require Clank to jump to another area, albeit with some speedy revolving platforms. The platforms can be slowed down though by throwing bombs at them, allowing Clank to continue. Clank also learns the art of hitting things with a large stick and is encouraged to lay the smack down on some test enemies by waving the Chronoceptor about. The combination of the Chronoceptor and time pads make for some difficult puzzles later on, involving multiple buttons, elevators and bombs that must be combined in order to exit a room. Well done! You certainly cleaned their clocks! Throughout all the time manipulation madness, the game looks great, with a Pixar-like animation style. The levels have lots going on with meteors and spaceships flying past, as well as wave-like block platforms in Clank's subconscious. The voice acting is good too, with Sigmund in particular capturing that zany senile robot role perfectly. but don't worry, I know all his own jokes. The game is due out this November, so keep your eyes on GameSpot for more in the run-up to release, and check out our new hands-on for more information on the great Clock Tower level. Are you ready?